In this video I'm going to show you how to create a script in Microsoft Word. Now if you watched the previous video you'll have seen the theory behind scripts, the kind of exam questions and what goes into a script. Now you're going to see how to create one for yourselves. So let's get into it. Okay so the first thing you need to do is open up Microsoft Word just like this. So what we're going to do first is we're going to type some text. We've got text for on both pages so we're going to put um, Put the title of the script by name. I'm not doing anything else. Now I'm going to click here on layout. I'm going to make sure first things first we've got our margins. So we've got our top and bottom margins need to be an inch, and then our left and right margins need to be about an inch and a half. So we'll just pop that in there. Press OK. Now this uh, title page needs to be right in the middle. So what we can do is click this again, go to layout and you see we've got these um, this thing that says vertical alignment so to make things easier what's going to do is go to bricks and then do a next brick and just type some text I'm just going to type in text like that now we've got a section brick in here so now I can highlight this press it again and then what I can do is I can have this page aligned to centre so hold the document like that and press Okay, that moves there, but it does it for this page as well. So we need to go to this page, click same button, and then what we're going to do is we're going to say for selected text, we're going to put this in at the top. You see now that's in the middle, so we can move that to the proper center by using this alignment here. And we've got this text here. So now I should be able to just carry on, it's all in the right place. That's the first part done, so we've got a margin sorted, an inch on the top and an inch and a half on the side, that's so it can be hole punched well. And then what we need to do is start creating our heading styles so it actually looks right. Now to do that, we need to click onto home and then we need to click onto this style section here and press this. And you see we have all of our styles, let's make this a bit bigger, all these ones here. So if you click this here, new style, we're going to start off firstly with um, scene heading, so that's like what our sort of locations and things will be under. Now the font needs to be a career font, it needs to be size 12 and bold. Now we need to go to format font as well and set that to all caps like that and we can just press OK. So now I can make this a scene heading, so I might say interior Classroom. Now, what we do next is apply the rest of the styles. So we can do one called scene action, which is um, essentially our sort of description of the scene or what people are doing in the scene. So we click new style again, career new 12, don't want it bold, and we don't want it to be capitalized. But it's the same thing, we can call that scene action. I could put walks into classroom. Okay, so the next thing we want is our characters to speak. So we need to have the character's name. So we could put character. Now this one's going to be center aligned and it needs to be caps as well. So all caps, just like that. And then the next one we need to do is dialogue. So dialogue is pretty much the same as the character one, except for it's um, aligned slightly different and it's not in caps. So we'll start with these part first. So we'll put dialogue. We'll set it so it's not all caps. Like that, and we can type our text, so it might be the Okay, but it should be a lot more indented, so that's the next thing we need to do. So to do that, we need to highlight the dialogue, modify it, 
this paragraph. So we're going to add some orientation. So we're going to add another inch and a half on. So 3.81. 3.81. And that looks a lot, um, a lot more professional. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to run us through some example scripts. So if you go onto the internet, I've got an example here of um, Chernobyl scripts. Now I'm just going to click on this. And there's a website called Masterclass, and that has some examples of how you can format this even further. However. For the sake of doing your IGC um, coursework or doing your hour at one coursework, you don't really need to go too detailed. What we've got here so far is pretty much spot on. If I just go to the Chernobyl scripts, you'll see we've got the title page, so we've got what it's called, the episode name, and who it was written by. Fairly easy. You don't need to worry about anything like this. Then we've got the scene heading, we've got the scene action, we've got the um, character's name and we've got dialogue there. And you see it's sort of in this block that's indented which is how we've done ours here like that. I mean perhaps it could be maybe slightly more to the left perhaps so if you did want to change that slightly we can go to modify. We can change the paragraph so instead of being as much as that we could do it to an inch instead that margin that probably looks a bit better actually so 2.54 centimeters and you see it's all in there so the only thing we need to do now is apply the style to this so I've just done character for this one and done um, bold underline and then again let's have these as just dialogue so we'll make it a bit more like Chernobyl so There we go. That's pretty much the script done. So then what we could do is we could um, try to add into the script a little bit more. Um, student walks into the now when you're talking about another character, you don't have to capitalize it like that when it's in a scene action. Then I can put my new character in. Put my dialogue in. And you can start adding your script in there. So, what the uh, benefits are of creating your script like this is one, it's just a lot easier for you. You don't have to keep changing fonts, you don't have to keep um, messing around with uh, making things bold and indenting things. You can just click your different styles and then you're away. And you can see it's not 100% accurate, but it's very similar. These are in line. That's in the centre, we've got that there. The only thing we haven't done so far is add the page numbers. Now these 101s, 102s, don't worry about that too much. That'd be in relation to like what the different scenes are and what you can see on the screen. If you're doing it for a comic or animation, you don't need to worry about that as much. But we do need to add our page numbers to the top right, and that's the last thing we need to do. To do that, all we've got to do is we're just going to set it as a header. So get rid of that, we don't need that anymore. We can go to insert and we can go header and then just click any of them, we're going to change it anyway. And we'll go like to the right and we're just going to for now put a dot like that. And then what we can do is we can just add in the page number, current position, like that. And you see now it's got the dot after it and every other page will have will have that as well but we don't want it on this first page so again we need to change stuff with the header so so we want a different first page a different first page let's put that back in there again so we can just But now our page number currently it says two and really it's not. So we're gonna start at zero. Put that to that top one should be zero. In fact actually 
pull this up and just set that at one. And we're sorted, so we've got our. If I can find, there we go, we've got our top right page number and we've got all of our different sections in. And then we just continue our main pages we need to do and it looks good and then we can also reuse it as well. So if we want to create another script, we can just use this as a template and just start applying all of our styles again. So it's really useful making sure that we can just easily write our script really quickly without having to worry about anything. It's all nicely done and formatted and looks good. Now I hope that helps and you can go ahead and create your own scripts and I will see you in the next video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure you like and subscribe.